let's take a look at some steering system components. We've got here a fairly normal front wheel drive car, but it does have a double wishbone front suspension system, so it's not McPherson strut, but it's rack and pinion steering like just about everything in the world is these days. And we've got some problems. Some of them are some of them are fairly obvious, but I just want to show you what some of these things look like. First of all, there's a there's a pretty good leak. All this fluid down here on the ground. This is power steering fluid. And it is coming from our rack and pinion assembly. So you can see this boot, it's just pooling up in there. This boot is torn. It is torn open, and you can see the inner tie rod end up inside there. Because that boot is torn open though, dirt and debris and other stuff has been able to get up inside the boot and get into where the seals are that seal that rack gear. So the seal has been destroyed and you can see it's now leaking all over the place, making a big mess. If you go over to this side, it's not leaking over here, but we have the exact same situation where the boot's torn. So this is how the other side started out. That boot was torn dirt and debris. Another nastiness got up in there. See how, see all that crud? The dirt and the water, there's rust, all right? And that's because these boots were damaged. Now, if the boots would have been replaced before they actually broke, we wouldn't have the problem. We probably wouldn't have a rack that is, uh, that's leaking. Everything would be just fine. The other thing that uh, we did when we were under here, since we're looking at the steering system, is we went ahead and grabbed our, grabbed our wheels and shook them back and forth like this and we can feel that we have bad tie rod ends. So if you look at our tie rod end here, this piece, if as I shake the wheel, look at the tie rod end and then the knuckle, and they, uh, they don't move together. You can see there's quite a bit of slop in there. All right, this, is, this is an old car. Uh, it's 20 years old. It's got quite a few miles on it. So that is tie rod end. Now we grab it at the bottom we grab the wheel at the bottom like this and we shake it up and down that way okay no movement no looseness but we grab it here and we shake it looseness now if we had like a bad bearing it wouldn't matter where we grab this wheel and shake anywhere we grab it we'd feel that same looseness but shaking the side to side like this it's the only place we feel it so and we can see it of course now on this side same okay same thing. So the outer tie rod right end on this side is bad. So this car needs a steering gear, a whole rack and pinion assembly, and it needs those tie rod ends. So I guess we'll have to uh, let the customer know, or the owner anyway, let them know and see, see what they want to do about getting this thing fixed up.